When it came to the construction of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, every member of the community donated and contributed in some sort of way. The Torah specifies the Nasim, the princes of each of the tribes, that they gave the stones that fitted the Choshe and the breastplate of the high priest, as well as his stones on the shoulder pieces of the apron. But what's interesting is that the word Nasim, princes, is usually written with two Yuds. And in this week's Torah portion, those Yuds are not there. They're missing from the word Nasim. Why is that? Well, the commentaries explain that when it came to the contribution, the Nasim took the approach that we're going to wait to see what everybody else donates and then we'll fill in and complete whatever's missing. You can imagine their shock and surprise when Moshe Rabbeinu announced to the community and there was a surplus. There was too much material. They didn't need so much for the contribution towards the Mishka. So now what would the Nisim bring? In the end, they brought the stones for the Kohen Gadol, the high priest. But they made a mistake. They should not have waited. And this is why the Yuds are missing from their name. There are three types of people. There are those that make things happen. There are those that watch things happen. And there are those that don't even know that anything is happening. We must strive to fall into the first category. When we see something that needs to be done, we must raise our hand. We must run towards it and not wait or watch for others to do it. Because who knows, this could be the entire purpose for why I was created. So don't wait for somebody else to do it instead. Shabbat Shalom.